What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Taste Like Music. Jason, Joe, and Kramzer. It is Rolling Stones week here on the channel. New album out, Hackney Diamonds, the first of new material in 18 years. They did have that Blues Covers album in the middle there somewhere. Yeah, we're going to talk about the new record today, but we are also doing the full listography deep dive, which will be coming up shortly after. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, make sure you subscribe, follow the channel. Uh, we will be ranking all of their studio albums, including the new one that we we're about to talk about here. This one's called Hackney Diamonds, like I said, produced mostly by Andrew Watt. I think Don Waz still had a, a hand in it as well. And uh, yeah, how are you guys feeling about it? Here's how I feel. I like it a lot. Thoroughly surprised, was not expecting much, and I thought it was really good. 3.5 safely 3.5 not not getting up to four stars it's not a great record but it's really good and <clears throat> first impressions first things mick has had probably a little bit more tinkering on his vocals here than any other album but he still sounds pretty darn good i'm pretty impressed with how good he sounds the band is hot angry pretty good nice nice track nice and catchy uh depending on you is one of those classic sweet stones charm kind of tunes i think it's great has a little bit of like a Moonlight Mile feel. I think it's a really loud, maybe overly polished, too glitzy and clean sounding album, but it's pretty robust and it's got a nice balance to it. I think the low end on this is perfect. Even the tunes on here that don't really stick out are still really good, enjoyable rockers, like Bite My Head Off. I think Whole Wide World is really cool. It has some 80s extravagance to it, sound like that era of the Stones. It has a very non-Stones-like solo on it, guest appearances pretty cool yeah and mix sounds really good his voice is cool because it's kind of built to last like he's never really done anything to ruin it he's never like he's he's a safe singer in his octaves and everything so you know it makes sense that it still sounds great but you got to give it to him i think dreamy skies is cool it's kind of that expected country blues indulgence that they do my favorite on the album though is mess it up i think it's spectacular it sounds like it's like some girl's emotional rescue era lots of fun has single written all over it it's got that disco like feel the breakdown exchange is superb you know there's some duds like live by the sword and driving me too hard is that kind of lame stadium country sound and then you know they send it off with that rolling stones blues like delta blues kind of thing so yeah i mean you even get a keith sun sung song so it sounds you know it's it's a rolling stones album through and through which it's really refreshing i like it well i don't I do not like this album very much. I have it at a very low three stars out of respect for our elders. It is 133 out of 156 on the year for me so far. Uh, I was, you know, given wrong bill of goods after listening to Sweet Sounds of Heaven, which is great. It's so superior to the rest of the album that it makes, it, it just outshines everything so much that everything else sounds even worse i mean angry was decent and angry is one of the better tunes on here it has a, a pretty good riff but everything else i don't know I, I i think i said this in the album's ranking video but andrew watt is not not a very good producer in my book i don't like the way this sounds at all i think he strips out any rolling stones dna he is to aging rock stars what jack Antonoff is to ingenue pop stars and like, I just don't get any, uh, I, you don't get that weaving between Richards and Wood. Like all the riffs are super rudimentary. The solos are basically non-existent. The highlight was probably Bite My Head Off, fuzz bass played by Paul McCartney. Jagger's vocals, which sounded great on Sweet Sounds of Heaven, I think sound pretty tinkered with throughout most of the album. And I just get like all these like old guy rock and roll mid tempo, like sort of a bluesy feel, but not too bluesy. And the only songs I think that are, you know, above average would be Dreamy Skies, which is like classic nostalgia. Got some country instrumentation, a little slide guitar. That one actually reminds me of the Rolling Stones. Uh, and Mess It Up, you know, kind of sounds like some girls. It's got a disco bass line, but that's about it. Got a couple pointless Elton John guest spots. I was just unimpressed, especially after being excited after hearing Sweet Sounds of Heaven. Well, I I kind of see both sides 
I I like it overall. I generally think it's a pretty good record. Uh, I'm at three and a half on it as well, like Cram. I don't know. The, the production I'm torn on, there's things about it I like. I think it sounds pretty big and full. I like the guitar tones. I like the drum sounds. The vocals at times, like Cram said, sound great. Other times they do sound like they're kind of tuned or being messed with a little overprocessed, whatever's happening with them. And, and those moments kind of pull me out of the record. And if it wasn't for that stuff that occasionally pops up, I, I would I would be pretty darn close to four stars on this because I think the songwriting is really strong. I think the songs are catchy. They're most memorable songs in a long, long time. So yeah, I mean, if if these songs had a bigger bangs production and sound, that would be the ideal scenario. But given the choice, I I, I think I will I'll take this batch of songs any day. A uh, bunch of cool stuff on here. Mess it up, like Cram said, is really cool. That one uh, has Charlie on drums. It's got kind of like a, a disco-y rocker type of feel. Live by the Sword, the one with uh, Bill Wyman on bass as well. So you got the actual like original Stones lineup on that track. I think that's probably the weakest one on the album. The track with McCartney's great. But yeah, I think it's overall pretty pretty solid. It. I think exceeded my expectations. So underperformed a little bit. I, I say in the battle of octogenarians for this year, I'm going to Smokey Robinson's gasms over this one. So I, I feel like it's a, it's a better, uh, better album. I'm, I'm not, not impressed with the, the Rolling Stones did. They should have just called it quits. Maybe have another one in them after this. Who knows? Mick, uh, I saw an interview with Mick promoting this record saying they're two thirds done with the next one. So get a new producer. Apparently it was Charlie holding them back. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> all right. If you heard this, let us know what you think of it. And like I said, be sure to check back to the channel. We'll be ranking all 26 US releases. So yeah, let us know. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.